The governor, Senator Uba Sani, has announced the release of the over 200 Kuruga school children who were kidnapped by suspected bandits. Recall that the 280 school children were kidnapped when gunmen riding on motorcycles stormed their school on March the 8th. Following the announcement of the release of the 287 abducted Kuruga school children in Chikun local government area in the state, reactions have continued to troop in among parents and families of the victims. They express joy and excitement even though they have yet to see their children. If you say you were in Kuruga yesterday, when we this had thing. this story, when we had this news, if you see how people were jumping, were in fact women, everybody was happy with the hearing of this, our, our, our children are back. Very, in fact, people were jubilating. How, how people, especially women, there is a woman who, her four, four of, her, of her children were kidnapped. She could not eat, she could not sleep. In fact, I can tell you, some are even dead. Some parents are dead. I'm just praying maybe by tomorrow I will see her. I tell you, sometimes 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the night, I will wake up. Believe me, I will, I will just be crying because thinking, how is she? How is she? Why, what, has she eaten? You see, I think of that because I know if, if, if say she's at home, normally before she goes to school in the morning, she eats and then she comes back again for breakfast. And then, you know, when they close two o'clock, two, two o she, she, before she goes for Islamia, you know, she takes something, you know, I'm in fact always playing with her in the house. But Meanwhile, the state governor, Senator Ubasani, has received two armored personnel carriers APCs and a special mobile police squad has been deployed to the Kuruga community to boost the security of the area. Now, Ubasani commended the president and national security advisor and security agencies for their effort in the safe release of the abducted children. That the inspection of police have uh, given us two APCs and it will go a long way in really helping us in addressing the problem of security because like I said we need uh, more personnel on ground, we need more boots on ground and uh, now that we have two more APCs in Kaduna I believe the police command in Kaduna will certainly have something to use that could certainly help us in reaching out to some of the very critical areas that need security attention. I'm happy that they are back home now. They are with us. And police have played a major role in bringing these children back home. I want to thank the IG. I want to thank all the security agencies. I want to especially thank President Bola Mantinibu, the National Security Advisor, Malenu Rubadu, the chip of defense time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.